What is a nickel defense? Well, that is what we will be talking about in today's video. So as you see right here on your screen, I have a defensive playbook brought up and we're gonna talk about what a nickel defense is. So before we get into that, we'll take a look at the 3-4. It has three linemen, four linebackers. The 4-4 in this example, in this playbook, has four defensive linemen and four linebackers. What the nickel defense does is it takes away, it substitutes one of those linebackers in place to bring another defensive back onto the field. That's how it gets its name. Instead of having four defensive backs, like the 3-4, you have uh, four defensive backs, as you can see. The 4-4 four -four has um, three defensive backs in this situation, but typically you have four defensive backs. But um, it opts to take a linebacker off the field and place in putting a defensive back on the field which is how it gets its name five defensive backs hence nickel defense a nickel the nickel is five cents five defensive backs now here's why you would you know think about going into a nickel defense let's say you're in a three four and the offensive formation has three or more wide receivers you don't necessarily want your linebackers playing in space even if it's man or zone defense against man defense already just it's over your guy he doesn't have the ability to stick with the wide receiver in zone he may have a chance but you still aren't you know in an advantageous position as far as speed and agility so you want to take one of those linebackers who would be in space covering that wide receiver and exchange it for a cornerback or a defensive back a big point about the nickel defense is in this example as you see on your screen 26 he would be the nickel defender but a great thing about all defenses is he doesn't necessarily have to be a cornerback now you have to figure out which guys on your team have certain skill sets are they able to you know play great pass defense play you know good run support things like that but you may want to opt and put a safety as your nickel defender he's still a fifth defensive back he's better equipped to play the pass than the aforementioned linebackers in like a three four or whatever but he still gives you a little bit more toughness than a, a typical cornerback. That's something to think about as well for your substitution packages. Another thing, a little bit more on the advanced side, you may also want to, well, typically a nickel defense will have your third best cornerback playing at that nickel spot location, typically. You may also want to think about you know, just this is just hypothetical, or this is just you know, depending on how you how you see the game. You may want to put your best cornerback at that nickel spot, and then have your third best and your second best play the outsides. Something to think about. There's pros and cons of doing everything, but this is just a basic overview of what the nickel defense is, and hopefully you're able to take this information and implement it into your game and become a better Madden player.